Hello everyone, your Dr. Siyat Ahiri here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 8.30a of chapter 8 continuous system from mechanical vibration fixed position by SS Tau. So that is 8.30 from chapter 8 continuous system. So the problem description is Compute first three natural frequencies and the corresponding mod shape of the transverse vibration of a uniform beam of rectangular cross section 100 times 300 millimeter. So here width is 100 and depth is 300 with length equal to 2 meter modulus of elasticity as 20.5 into 10 to the h power 10 newton per meter square. Density is 7.83 into 10 to the raised power 3 kilogram per meter square for the beam when both ends are simply supported. So it's mean that we need to calculate natural frequency and mod shape of a simply supported beam. So this uh, is problem 8.3 from chapter 8 of this mechanical vibration by mechanical vibration by SS Brown. So now objective is to find first three natural frequencies and to plot first three mod shapes. So equation used for is a natural frequency which is equation 8.93 from chapter 8 of the book. Omega is equal to beta square radical EI rho A or otherwise beta L square EI radical rho, rho A. L squared, so E is modulus of velocity, I is that is second moment of area of the cross section, A is the area of cross section, rho is density, L is length of the beam, and beta here is we need to calculate. And for that frequency equation, so this beta is calculated from frequency equation, so which is sine beta and L equal to zero. This is from figure 8.5. 15 of the book so this is for when both ends are simple support and then more shape or normal function so w n x is equal to c n sine beta n x so to find more shape first we need to find that sine beta n x and this is also taken from figure 8.15 of chapter 8 so how to tackle this one so first we need to solve frequency equation for first three modes so first to solve frequency equation for first three modes once uh, by solving frequency equation we will get its root in terms of beta l so once first three roots of beta l uh, this equation are computed then need to substitute in this equation or uh, once you have beta L, so divide it by length to get beta, so both of these equations can be used. So one, once we have beta, so then it can be plotted, uh, more shape can be plotted, so where x is from 0 to L. So uh, I'm going to solve this in MATLAB, and the function used in MATLAB are VPA solve function, then double function and then plot function so these functions i am going to use to solve uh, this problem the first is need to solve frequency equation and the solution of frequency equation can be found uh, it is available in figure 8.15 like as here so that is the frequency equation and that is the solution of frequency equation for first four roots so to for free Solution of frequency equation, I have recorded these two videos. So like as mechanical vibration, example 8.17, that is solution of frequency equation for single root or then solution of frequency equation for five roots. So uh, how to solve that in MATLAB, I have explained in both of these two videos in my channel and the playlist is mechanical vibration solution. I am using MATLAB in its standard layout. This is a default layout and I'm going to use, there are two options, either you can go for new script, but I'm going for live script. 
So that is a new live script. And I'm going to save that as I mean eight point problem eight point three zero a. Okay, so it doesn't let me that. So MATLAB doesn't allow spaces or dot. So you need to use that underscore for it. So start with uh, double percentage sign problem eight point three zero a and press enter so it will give a heading problem 83a and that is only possible in live script and then i'm going to name it as so that is a heading uh, problem 8.30a natural frequency and more shapes of since reported being so the first part is to find uh, to solve the frequency equation the first step is solve frequency equation and for solve frequency equation, as I described before, so I am using the script which I have developed here in this problem. So to solve frequency equation, I'm using a SYMS. So that is equations in symbolic form and the variable is BL because here the variable is beta L. So it's BL here and equation is sine beta l equal to zero so that is the equation which i which is required and here i am using vpa solve function so that vpa solve function what does what it does it take an equation and find a variable for a for initial range so here initial range is i to j and then uh, i is from 1 to 10 and j is the next value so i have here started initiated a uh, empty matrix bli so it will uh, it will fill that in bli and try to uh, and create a solution so let's say i am going to run that part of script and then here you can see so the first three roots are between 1 to 10 so these are the three values of bli 3.146 which is pi then 2 pi and 3 pi so these are the value pi 2 pi and 3 pi there so that first part is done to solve frequency equation now the next step is first objective to find first three natural frequencies and for these three natural frequencies now we have this three values of beta l and we need ei rho a and l so most of the values are here so i is bd cubed over 12 and a is uh, length into width so now i am going to solve that one and first we need to get beam details or beam properties and then further to find natural frequency the next step uh, next heading is beam properties okay and I'm going to add all these beam dimensions and then calculation. So now L is the length of the beam. B is the width of the beam, which is uh, 100 millimeter. B is the depth of the beam, which is 300. E is the Python residue 20. Uh, e is the modulus of elasticity 20.5 into 10 to the power 10 in Newton per meter square. And rho is the density 7.83 into 10 to the power 3. And then I calculated a and i from here so all these properties they are given here so now these are the beam properties so next i need to find natural frequency so the natural frequencies that is the next heading and for natural frequency the formula is omega n is equal to beta l squared into ei rho a l raised bar 4 so the natural frequency in radian per second so that is omega n is equal to bl i squared in the square root e i rho e l raised power 4 and then natural frequency in hertz that is fn so that omega n over 2 pi so then you i'll get that omega n three values of omega n so these are the three values of omega n so it is 1093.4473.598400.3. So these are three frequencies in radians per second. 
So these are the answers for this 8.30 part A. So the answers which are here. So I got the same answers here. Now the last step is to plot first three more shapes. And to plot first three more shapes, the formula is omega n c n and that c n is taken as one and sine beta x and this x is from 0 to n. So I'm going to solve it. I'm going to use that plot function for it. And then I'm going to write a small script for this function. So it takes values of beta, uh, beta l, it takes values of beta l, and then it plot that mod shape. So the next heading is mod shape. So that is the mode shape and I'm going to write a function right there. So the function will go end of the script. So if you are using, uh, going to write a function in a script and then you want to execute that in the function again. So now the name of function, I have here mod shape. Okay. And then what is it is doing? It is taking value of BL. Okay, so once it takes the value of BL and it takes length and then dx. So dx is like uh, the delta x and how you are going to, which interval you are going to use. So what it's going to do, it is going to calculate B from uh, dividing BL by L and then x, it's going to divide that x. Uh, length from 0 to L with the interval dx and then W A sine into bx. So that is the formula. So sine x and uh, using that C and x as so C as one. So W is equal to C n into sine bx. So that is the function I have written. And now I'm going to execute that function for first, second and third more shape. So that is First, I'm going to plot base state. So base state, I have given interval here as 0 0.01. So x is, it is going to divide uh, L. Uh, so L into 0 to L in, with that interval. And W0 zero is zeros because uh, when we have that uh, base state, so in the base state, the function uh, more shape will be all values of that will be zero and then what it will do it will plot that and then hold on so i am using a black color with the dash line to to plot base state so that is now for the base state x level is length in meters and normal function wx so that is base state is being plotted here then there is a first mode and for the first mode i am using that bl1 so because this bl is uh here you can see it contains values of uh, beta l so i am giving that as uh, input and then dx which i have already defined is 0 0.01 and l is 2 and I'm going to plot X versus W1. This is the first mode with the blue color. So I've just copied that first mode to the second mode. So BL is BLI and the second uh, value of that vector. And then it's plot W2 and then similarly the third mode. And then it's going to plot that as green. So first mode as blue, second mode as red, and the third mode as blue. So now these are the three more shapes. The blue one is the first one, red is the second one, and then green is the third one. So, so these are the, so these are three more shapes. First, second, and third.